Today gives us some crazy news concerning a possible hardware-based bug on Intel's CPUs. Plus, it looks like AMD plans to fix their newest bug regarding DX9 games, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Originally brought to my attention by Paul, a follower of the channel, Intel seems to have a pretty major bug on their hands. There's a few outlets that are reporting different things, and unfortunately the Linux kernel development site where this discussion originated is subscription only. But from what I gather, users at Linux kernel development began noticing a pretty massive kernel redesign that was being pushed through much faster than kernel standards would usually dictate, with the reasoning behind it being pretty flawed, some redacted comments in the code, as well as mechanisms in place that resemble past bug fixes. This led many to speculate on a bug, and it appears they may be right. The rumored bug is actually on a hardware level and affects multiple generations of Intel CPUs, we're talking a reported decades worth. The bug allows a hacker to access low-level virtual memory related to the Linux kernel. It appears to only have major vulnerability to cloud providers who offer shared hosting as it can get unauthorized access to other virtual machines. But there could be other scenarios that haven't been fleshed out yet, so who knows how deep this could go. Now here's where the even worse news comes in. Because the issue is on a hardware architectural level, the best fix won't happen until new processors are released by Intel. Until then, operating systems are having to apply something called page table isolation that hides the kernel memory addresses. The issue with this fix is that it comes with a major penalty due to the CPU being forced to empty out certain caches pretty frequently. Thanks to some fast preliminary tests done with the newest kernel update, it seems to have the greatest effect on tasks that require a ton of syscalls such as virtualization and compiling. The performance loss we're looking at here, though only seemingly tested with synthetic benchmarks, is as high as 35% and then some. Luckily though, when it comes to gaming and most day-to-day -day tasks, there doesn't seem to be any real hit, but more tests need to be done of course. For those wondering, this bug doesn't seem to affect AMD CPUs. Thomas Lindaki, a software engineer for AMD, posted on LKML that the PTI patch isn't necessary on AMD CPUs. The issue is that the way this is going through, the kernel will affect all x86 systems, so that's Intel and AMD. Luckily, Thomas Lindaki does seem to provide a pretty low-level fix I'll be looking deeper into, but I'll have that linked in the description for those who are interested. When it comes to all of this, more tests will of course need to be done, but one thing is for certain, even if it doesn't affect most users or any individual PCs, plenty of major companies that utilize tons of virtualization aren't going to be too happy. Lastly for today, many of you who ran out to get AMD's big new Radeon Adrenaline Edition software update may have gotten more than you bargained for when it comes to playing your favorite old games. Apparently the newest update has caused some major issues with DirectX 9 titles, even having games unable to open due to the update. Well, it looks like AMD is aware, and they're actually promising a fix in their next driver update. So for those just waiting to play more Witcher 1, don't worry, your dreams will be coming true soon. So while that does it for today, what do you think of the news? Are you just excited the Intel patch more than likely won't affect you, or are you happy to see the upcoming AMD patch? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.